to uh, do completely independently. After all, meetings with publishers, and the, there was a lot of interest. In, but you know, I was like, yeah, you know what? I'll just do it on my own. And so, so this has become like a big thing. It's kind of pretty much taken over my life at this point. Uh, so we're a bunch of you. We're eight issues in. Uh, some of these issues are like 50 pages. So that's uh, you know, we're closing on 300 pages of, of silver. Uh, it's also so I've been. So that's why I started Dark Planet, which is my production company slash publishing company. Uh, we do a lot of conventions around the country, about 50, 15 big ones every year. So that's a lot of uh, people I get to meet one on one, which is I absolutely love to do. Uh, uh, but also, uh, so uh, you know, it's, it's you can find it in every comic book store, and uh, it's also now published in different countries around the world. So I'm very excited. That's uh, somebody sent me a picture of a. Uh, a bookstore in Germany, so that, that was that was really awesome. But that was a really, really, a really interesting adventure in uh, entrepreneurship and uh, uh, um, independence as much as authorship. So, uh, uh, you know, that, that's we can talk about that if you're interested. But the <laughs> point that I now getting to the the meat of it is that I just want to try to pack in this talk a bunch of stuff that I kind of collected in my own journey and that really helped me. So uh, if that can help you, then that's wonderful. Um, so the first thing is a simple phrase. Uh, it's written mm. by this genius of screen literature called Joe Esther House, <laughs> who you know who he is now, uh, wrote some, he was one of the highest paid writer in the 90s, you know, he wrote Basic Instinct, also a showgirl, so whatever. <laughs> but he's a really smart guy. And um, he, he says that on his, uh, above his typewriter, because he still uses a typewriter, he has this, this paper that says, no attachment to outcome. And really, for me, I mean, and I'm sure it is for any artist, you know, you're always caught between, you always have this voice in your head of like, how's this gonna look when it's done? Do you, uh, you know, is this gonna make me look good, make me look stupid? What so and so is gonna think about this? Da, 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 da. And so it completely paralyzes you, and you have to come to this place of having no attachment to the outcome, and it's about, I'm doing it, and you know, I'm doing it. You know, how it turns out in the end, I don't even consider that. Uh, you know, if it's a piece of crap, I'll just put it in the trash, no one will ever see it. You know, and the thing that I also noticed that helped me a lot, uh, uh, you know, wh I, one of the things I consider myself super lucky uh, 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 with uh, in my life is that a lot of the people who were, wh whether it's uh, in this or in 